everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Donna and I am just throwing together an impromptu crock pot soup that we will have for dinner tonight. So I thought I would share it for hashtag what's for dinner y'all, which is an open collaboration hosted by Kimmy over at Kimmy's Kitchen and more. And yeah, this is what I'm making. So I've got my crock pot and I'm just gonna add a little drop of some olive oil to the bottom. And then I have these leftover chicken meatballs. I used ground chicken, some Italian breadcrumbs, eggs, and some of this Italian style sofrito seasoning blend in there. Baked them. We had them the other night and these are leftover. So I'm just gonna throw those in the crock pot there. I love little meatballs and soup. I love Italian wedding soup and I love spaghetti and meatball soup. So this is almost kind of like a spaghetti and meatball soup, but it's not. So, and to that, I'm also going to add, oh, I got about three cups of chopped baby spinach because that's what I had left there. I've got two chopped up carrots. Then I'm going to add in a jar of marinara sauce. This is a, looks like 24 ounces. So I'm gonna put that in first. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth in there, shake it up so we don't waste any of the sauce. Shake, 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 shake your jar. There we go. Throw that in there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and with that broth that I was just using, I'm using Progresso Tuscany Chicken Broth. It's flavored with thyme, marjoram, and oregano. It is a 32 ounce container, so four cups of chicken broth. Go ahead and turn my crock pot onto high. And then we're just gonna add some spices in there. Let's go ahead and add some basil. Are we gonna measure anything? No, we're not. We're just gonna put it in there. We're gonna add some oregano. Again, are we gonna measure? No, we're not. We're gonna throw it in there. It'll be delicious. I know it will. I'm gonna add some black pepper. This jar is um container is tin, whatever you call it. Almost empty. Let's see. And my favorite, again, this was in the ground chicken meatballs, the Italian style sofrito seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. I shared that in my little Trader Joe haul. And not really measuring it, but I'm using a tablespoon. I'll put a tablespoon in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. I did not add salt because I just don't think it's necessary between the sauce and this Italian seasoning blend here, I do believe has some sea salt in it. So the chicken broth. That has salt, so that's plenty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let that cook in the crock pot on high for about, oh, I don't know, a few hours, four hours, you put it on low all day. It's a crock pot. It's just kind of a set it and forget it type of a dish. And then when it's ready, I'll go ahead and make some Macaroni, I'll use these medium shells. I'll make some macaroni. I know I don't put the pasta in my soup because it tends to absorb all the broth. So, I mean, you know, to cook it like that or to store it. So I always make my pasta on the side, 
toss it with a little olive oil and then add the shells to the bowl with the soup. Of course, we're gonna top with some Parmesan cheese. But anyhow, that's, that's ahead of myself there. Let's just go ahead and let that cook. Okay, soup's ready. Sorry for the loud dishwasher sound, but so we have some pasta. Put a little bit in the bowl. And there we have it. Soup's on. We just need cheese. Mm, a little more broth. What do you think? I think so. And with some broth came another meatball. <laughs> that works for me. There we go. That's what's for dinner, y'all. What are you having?